So this short video was designed to give you an overview and a dive into some of the key changes Microsoft has announced to the Microsoft Project for the Web product that are coming in August of 2025. Before we get started, we do want to put some definitions out there because it is very confusing about what product does what. There are really two products we talk about here. There is Planner Premium, which was formerly called Microsoft Project for the Web. This is the solution Microsoft is sunsetting, the Project for the Web, which is becoming part of Planner Premium. The other solution Microsoft has that is still supported is Microsoft's Project Online, sometimes called Project Web App or PWA. Obviously very confusing because the names cross over. Really, these are two separate solutions available to you in Office 365 today. The change that's coming in August is really designed to help simplify which product you do what in and the different audiences those are designed to support. So this should ideally make it easier. It won't be as confusing with the word project being thrown around for different products. So remember, we have two products here we're talking about, the planner-based product on the left and Project Online, which is sometimes called Project Web App on the right. That is the technical name for it. The change that's coming in August, which was announced in May, Microsoft announced they'll be making the following changes. The first one is Project for the Web. The one on the left is being retired. It is being fully replaced by Planner Premium. So the functionality you see in Project for the Web today from a scheduling perspective is all available today in Planner Premium. It is a one-to-one -one move there. The good news is you don't have to migrate any data. Any projects you built in Project for the Web are already in Planner and Planner Premium. So you can access them and do the same things you can do there that you could do over in Project for the Web. The second key change relates to the project homepage. This is being retired. So if you go to project.microsoft.com in your Office 365 tenant, you will see a page that looks like the page on the right. This is being sunsetted. And that page was initially designed as a central landing page. So you could get to projects in either system, the one on the left or the one on the right. And because these have now been separated into Planner, where you get one set of projects, or Project Online, where you get the other set, there's really no need for this homepage anymore. So all of your Project for the Web projects are now in Planner. They're all available in the My Plans area in the Planner app, which has been updated. The third thing that is changing is the Project Roadmap. So if you go into the homepage you see on the right, uh, that area where you go and build a roadmap, which is a visualization of projects and tasks across those different projects you have there, that's going away. It's actually being replaced by something called Portfolios, which is available today in Planner. So you can go into portfolios, tap into the projects you have in Planner today, and put them in a visual timeline, the Planner Premium Plans. Those are the key changes. The final change is really there's something called the Project Power App, which was sitting behind the scenes in that left solution, Project for the Web, that is being rebranded and renamed the Planner Power App. So no change in the functionality, just a change in the branding and the naming. So you can see that a lot of this is just a rebranding and a simplification of some of the different products Microsoft already has. So what if you're using Project Online today? What is the impact of that? There is no fundamental change to the underlying Project Online service. It is not impacting the stuff on the right at all. So if you use Project Online for portfolio management or resource management and time tracking or, or integrating that with your project schedules, that's not changing at all. What's really changing is the front door into that application. So if you have people that are going into Project Online today, into that SharePoint page that where you access all the data, Getting there from the project homepage you see on the right won't work anymore because that page isn't going to be there. You just need to provide a redirect to the URL for Project Online for those users, which you might already have. A lot of people already have just a quick link on their URL on their button bar in their browser. The second change is if you have any projects today that are in the Roadmap app in Project Home, those are going away. They're not going to be there anymore. So you need to go and rebuild them over in the Planner Power Apps portfolios, uh, the Planner portfolio feature. So those are some of the key changes. If you're on Project Online, don't worry. That service is not going away. It's still a solid, great solution for, uh, for project and portfolio management and a lot of resource management and time tracking. Um, there were some changes that were announced by Microsoft last year, April 2024, that a lot of folks missed. So we want to do a quick summary of those. Uh, Microsoft did announce continued support for Project Online. They understand a lot of clients are very comfortable with it, and they're reliant on it to run their businesses. So that's not going away. They also communicated some key changes that are being made to SharePoint. Because Project Online sits on a SharePoint foundation, a classic SharePoint foundation, two key changes that may impact you. One of those is they noticed, they, they've they noted, and this was actually communicated a couple of years ago, SharePoint Designer, which is the workflow tool for designing and building SharePoint workflows in classic SharePoint, is going away. It's actually being sunset in April of 2026. So any workflows you have in SharePoint or Project Online, they're not going to work anymore starting April 2026. In Project Online, that's mainly governance workflows. So if you have those today, 
there is a mitigation where you can actually leverage Microsoft's Power Automate and Power Apps to build and deploy different workflows or replatform the workflows you already have. So that is a workaround. It's something that is, is a solid proven solution. And if you need any guidance or help with that, definitely reach out to us and we can help you with that. The final change that was announced is SharePoint add-ins. A lot of people downloaded SharePoint add-ins when these went live in 2013 and 2014, and they do little things. They're kind of widgets that maybe aggregate data within a project or help you do a bulk edit. That functionality is going away with this change in April of 2026. So if you use them today, reach out to the vendor or supplier you work with that actually provides that. There's a pretty good chance they've replatformed that on the more modern platform to do something very, very similar. So you can definitely replace those with up updated, more modern apps. And finally, there was a security change that Microsoft made last summer in 2024, which makes it more difficult for a project online administrator to update what are called project detail pages, which are web pages where you're going to update project-related metadata and content. Um, the key here is to just work with your SharePoint administrator if you've already figured this out, and they can kind of open up that so you can make regular updates to PWA as you need it. So that's just a process workaround where you're going to work with some folks. Uh, if you have any additional questions or you need any help, definitely reach out to us at Progility. We have a full team of experienced resources with not only Microsoft Project, Project Online, but also Planner, the Planner Power App, and Power App in general. You can reach us at info@progility.com or hit our website, www.progility.com, and we'll set up some time, understand your challenges, give you some guidance around that. We appreciate your time today. Hopefully, uh, we gave you a little information uh, that helps guide your decisions. Have a great day.